After numerous appeals and negotiations with the federal government over welfare issues, with no significant headway at sight, members of the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, Senior Staff Association of Nigerian Universities, SANU, Non-Academic Staff Union, NASU, and the National Association of Academic Technologists, NAT, have taken the step further. That since 2009, we have not had a corporate increase. Nobody in the university system has got a corporate increase, even despite two, two, what do we call it, minimum wage within the process. The only thing we saw is that the president was kind of uh, appealing to the ASU and the workers in the university, the striking workers, to go back to their work. And the appeal cannot you know, resolve this uh, Issues. This time around, they are now joined by the apex body, the Nigerian Labour Congress, to press home their point to ensure that the federal government meets their demands. Straight down, we'll march to the governor's office where we will deliver a letter to His Excellency, Mr. Governor. The importance of this march is to rescue education now rather than to wait for the future. According to the stakeholders gathered for this meeting, their demands include, but not limited to just welfare issues, but also on infrastructure development on campus. When you enter into agreement, be faithful to your agreements. This uh, minimum wage areas, they pay. It's inconsistent. They pay some, they left some. The protest, they explained, will take place at Ikeja on the bridge 7 a.m. on Tuesday, July 26th and Wednesday, July 27th. 2022, Osereme Ujeifu, AIT News, Lagos.